Hey everyone, this is uh, Bravehawk from Unveiled Moonlight. I'm just hijacking Ori's Oasis again uh, for a weekly reading. Um, I decided to use a, some cards that uh, Dia gave me, as well as I brought an Amethyst out that uh, Glammy gave me this weekend. Um, it's a big ass Amethyst. Uh, and then I got a Kuan Yin statue while I was uh, over at Diaz as well. So let's get on to the reading. And for the reading, it's saying the main theme of this is, is meditation. And, and specifically um, a walk in meditation. And this type of meditation keeps your body going, but it keeps your mind uh, where, it, where it should be. This is for the active people who can't sit still for some reason. Uh, for the people that tend to fall asleep while meditating. So for this one, this is for you guys that always need to be on the go. Alright, for this reading, for my tarot cards, uh, the Queen of Swords, uh, this is a healer. So as far as um, this card, this card is for, is a face card. So this one's going to be an actual person. So... This, uh, the Queen of Wands, she's a healer. Um, she's also a creator. Um, when you heal someone, you, uh, actually create positive things in them, and they go out in the world and do, uh, positive, you know, positive things that, uh, come back at, to you, uh, in one way or another. So, I feel like, like, maybe you've got someone around you that you might specifically need to go ahead and, and start doing some work on, um, but at the same time, maybe you need to, need to connect with them. Um, the the Queen of Wands is uh, the face cards can be weird sometimes because ninety percent of the time they do represent people, but ten percent of the time, you know, uh, a, a very very small percent of the time it, it represents a situation. So I actually feel that maybe this is more of a situation in this case since it's not the indicator card. So. I feel like you need to do some some healing work. Um, and for the next card is the strength card. Uh, this card is is just basically it's what it's saying. Just be strong. You know you got to do it. You know you have it. Um, uh, a lot of people say this is more of an ego card, but it's just knowing that what you can and cannot do. Um, and in this case, knowing knowing your uh, that you can go a little bit outside your boundaries. Uh, you just got to be strong. You can't uh, have too much fear because that fear will will end up end up making you um, doubt yourself, which will not let you get the job done that you need to get done. So uh, I'm sure that's something to do with healing. So if you're not if you're having doubts about that, hey, you know, I'm kind of a healer, but it's hit or miss. You know, you can't have that situation. You can't have that in your mind. Uh, you have to be more uh, almost proudful of what, what you're doing you have to have more pride in yourself not just strength you have to have more pride uh, pride and courage so that's what I've got to say about that and for your last card is the three wands this is not only sitting back and enjoying the fr fruits of labor but the main main phrase here is fruits of your labor um, you can't enjoy anything until you put hard work into it. So this is saying, if you want it, that's great. You know where you need to go, but now you need to go out and, and get it. You need to go out and manifest it. You know? So, no, you can't sit back and visualize it and and just dream about it. You have to go out there and realize what you need to do um, if you, you know... If you want something, you gotta build it. Basically, that's kind of what that's saying. So I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. Um, you guys have a great week.